Let me show you how you can start easily with Loi Team. What are the first steps? As you can see here on the top, you have an access as an admin as well as access as an employer or team member. Let me first show you the access as admin. First, you can go to settings. Under settings, you find for each module customizable option. If you want to customize your Flowy team, please upload your company logo as well as your color schemes for your admin access, employee access or client access. Under module setting, you can enable or disable modules you want to use or you don't want to use at the moment. This applies to admin modules, employee modules as well as client modules. Under label override, you have the option to override, for example, employee as team members and so on. Under custom fields, you can add fields such as text, number, password, text area, select, radio option and date for modules such as client, employee, project and task. Flowy team will add more customizable fields for each module. Under integration API key, you can add your API key as well integrate with Sapio or for example for KPI you can integrate via the option KPI data source via further integration options as such as Google Sheets or Google Analytics. Please explore more customizable options for each module such as attendance, leave, KPI and OKR, engagement for 360 reviews as well as for weekly check-ins for OKRs, learning hub, reward, tasks, projects, time lock, tickets, and leads. You also can customize your dashboard by clicking on the boxes here if you want to display it under your dashboard or disable it. This applies for admin as well as for team members. Under notification settings you can select email notifications as well as you have the option for Slack integration as well as for push notification in the system which you then can see here under the bell. So please enable or disable notification for emails as well as for push notifications. Under currency settings you can add currencies you want to add to the Flowy Team system. Then after you add the currency, please go to company settings and add the default currency and update it accordingly. Under storage settings, you can choose an external storage, for example, AWS, Google Drive storage or Dropbox storage. Under Roles and Permissions section, you can add new roles such as Lead Manager, Sales Manager and save it here accordingly. It will then appear under this list view, in this example Lead Manager which you just added. Then click on the button Permissions. There you can select all permissions or you select certain permissions for certain modules such as adding, viewing, updating and deleting options. After you have set up Flowy Team under settings and customized the modules accordingly, please go to the module Employees and click on Employee. You can add employee data via Add New Employee or you can import all your employee data 
via CSF file. Therefore, please follow the instructions here. Let's go into one of the employee profiles by clicking on the edit button. You can make someone a manager by choosing true and under employment you can choose in which department someone is working, what position title someone has and to whom someone is reporting as a manager. Also an employee can work in several departments, so please choose here the department accordingly.